Hi, I'm Mike Wise. This is attached juggling. This is a three set of times upsize bobs. Three of them allow you to do some amazing things once you understand the nature of the three set. A three set has two end bobs and a flow bob. What that allows you to do is with the flow bob as the center weight, you can counterweight and have an active leg. This is the starting position for most people. You hand it to them in a hip or a horizontal orbit, holding the ebb with the string draped over the finger and having the point hitched with the thumb. So now you uh, point out what you're feeling right now, possibly even ghosting their hand very lightly so they can feel how little they really have to do. All you're trying to do is keep weight from this contact on that flow ball. The flow ball controls the active ebb leg which is orbiting. So you can do all sorts of things in experimenting with just how to orbit and your timing and spacing and tempoing and how you want to rhythmize your orbit. Then you start learning to wrap it. The reason why you start with your finger out like that is so you can learn the flip. In a flip you want to catch this leg so it's at least as long as the flow leg. If the ebb leg is not as long as the flow leg it could chance going through the try and tangling. The try is a key, key hole even, to the entire three set device of AJ. Why is it the key? Because if you let one of the ebbs go through that try, it will become tangled. A tangled means it doesn't orbit anymore. To untangle that, put it back through and back to orbit. To be tangled with a D mean it doesn't work anymore, but to tangle is something different. And tangles and tanglers is when you take the two ebb legs or one ebb leg and wrap it around the existing flow leg or around another ebb leg. These are all tangles or tanglers. And as long as that ebb doesn't go through the try, it won't tangle. The, it won't become tangled. The terminology becomes easier as you use it more. So the difference between a tangle and a tangler and tangles, those are all where it comes back out. It can untangle. A being tangled is where it has stopped the flow. It does not orbit anymore. So you add a D. Pop it back through. And you're set. You can also get twisted, which is something that I can't really demonstrate because it's when this ends up going back through itself somehow and you create a double hoop around the flow ball with the flow ball. Very rare it happens, but it does happen. So with a tangles and tanglers, there's a lot of different positions you can do. You can also twist it in many different ways. These are marriages because it is wrapping back on the string. You can marriage by yourself like that or using multiples you can marriage with another set of AJ. These twists like this are a lot of fun once you get the hang of the lull, which is this extending it out like that to slow it down, which is different from an extension. A lull is a type of extension, but it's a device extension. A body extension, like Koi speaks about, is using your whole arm to stall it in different directions. That gets into some advanced orbit skills that we aren't going to cover right now. Essentially, very simple device if you understand its nature. It'll keep coming back out. 
you learn about that key, that keyhole of the tribe, and when and how to change so that it won't become tangled. And now you can get into these things called locks, where the two balls tighten up next to each other and you can stop motion completely and they'll stay there. So this one's the flow, you can tell, because the string's twisted around it. This one's the ebb, you can tell, because it's got a knot on the end. So if you wanted to get this out the quickest way, toss it up, catch an ebb, back into an orbit even. You can change the directions of the orbits with impacts. You want to make all your motions fluid and through so you almost move it until you feel full pressure in an extended piece. You keep moving through your positions. So if you're spinning it like this, you move your position up, you move it to the point where you can no longer extend that ligament. When you angle and twist it back on itself like that, the way to get this out, switch to the other side of the flow ball. Always going to be the same case that that tangle will come out if you switch to the other side of the flow. Pretty simple. This is AJ. I'm Mike Wise. Make yourself a three set at home. Find three beads or balls and bore them out into a bob. Participate.